Police encounters can be nerve-wracking situations for everyone involved. And with all the negative news surrounding fatal police-related altercations lately, people are on edge. So members of the Stanford community decided to respond with some positive action. Today the Stanford Community Collective has brought together educators, people in law enforcement, and also people in the legal area to talk about how everyone can work together, including the community, to create better relationships between the community and the police. Held Wednesday night, the forum included group discussions, role-playing scenarios, and a community panel. We have Chief Fontenot, who's Stanford City Police Chief, as well as uh, Ted Janikowski, who's with Public Safety, two police captains, the ACLU, and then also a citizen in the city of Stanford who's a community activist by the name of Michael Coleman. Hosted in recognition of Black History Month, the event was the first in a series of gatherings geared toward minority parents and students, says Eaton. It focused on five opportunities for building better communities which included trust, fear of conflict, lack of commitment, avoidance of accountability, and inattention to results. The main reason that we're doing this is what's happening nationally. And, uh, you know, we saw what happened in Ferguson, we saw what happened in New York, and also in Ohio. So there's an opportunity for us to be preemptive and sort of give young people the opportunity to uh, express themselves, but also to know, like, if they are stopped by the police, some of the things that they should definitely do and not do. Reporting in Stanford, I'm Samantha McKelvey for It's Relevant News.